Evan, Pa, Paul, walking on cars. What's happened to Circa? What have you done with her? Uh, Circa is currently uh, making sure everything's right for the gig, telling everybody what to do and how to do it. Oh, <laughs> hey, you, 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 you know what the next question is going to be there then? Oh, so she's I see. Uh, she's actually doing another interview for a more prestigious radio station. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen, I have a question, lads, right? Um, uh, you're together nine years as a band. I think I met you guys in 20... It was definitely 2013, might have been 2012. Since I met you guys, things have gone really well. Is that mere coincidence? Uh, no, it's all down to you, man. Thanks very much. <laughs> Where's my gold record? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can we can sort it out. I think there's like a, you've got to put a deposit down, and then we can sort out the record. We're taking no that here right now. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Fine. We can take that fifty quid now and send you out the record. Sound. Oh yeah, yeah. God, I have to pay for it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we're here in Irish Independent Park, formerly Musgrave Park. You've just come off the stage. A bit of a band meeting on the stage, working out placings. Yeah. Uh, yeah. There's some pyrotechnics, so we had to, <laughs> fireworks and so we had to find out where not to be when it goes off. We still don't know the when yet, but we know the where, yeah. so we're good. And be careful with the wind as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. yeah. For yourselves personally or like the audience are? Yeah, just, just don't just break just wind on stage. <laughs> <laughs> General rule. <laughs> the album's out of wild colours. I was listening. We, we, we've been doing these broadcasts and y'all all week ahead of there having an Iron Man weekend. So we were down just kind of bigging that up. But I was listening to colours coming back in the car and recognising, barring the songs we've been playing on the radio, recognising some of the other songs from various gigs I've seen over the last while, like Malahide. Uh, no, not Malahide. What do you call Kilmainham. it? Kilmainham, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the, the second last track on the album, which I really like, the last dance, is it? Or oh, yeah, one last one dance. One last yeah. dance, which has changed a little since the gig because you now have Circa singing on it. And I was going to compliment her if she was here. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's uh, it's kind of a moment in the whole uh, in the whole set. Like uh, every every time we go in, get this huge roar for Circa when she starts singing. <laughs> I, I think the crowd really, really appreciate it. Yeah. I thought it was so for your bass part. Uh, I, thought, <laughs> I know, yeah. The ba- it could be for the bass part that's in there as well. It's between me and her. We're not quite sure. <laughs> you know, but it's most likely for her because it's like this. Well, how so, did uh, it take so long for her to end up singing some vocals? I suppose um, <coughs> well, she's been doing BV. Pa, pa was like, you're I not, no like, way. Uh-uh. Yeah, yeah. No, um, yeah. she's been doing BV since the start, so it was like, it felt like the right song to to have her doing a verse, and it works really well. Yeah, I I, I, pres- like, I was actually listening to it going, um, it must have been difficult to try to figure out which song to release first and, and what order to kind of go in. Was that a... Was nightmare. that a, it's a nightmare? It's yeah, a yeah. nightmare, yeah. It's um, just like we kind of just let the manager and the record label kind yeah. of fight amongst each other over it, and whatever they decide, then because we love them all. We, yeah, <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's just so yeah. hard. We all have different like, opinions, and yeah. like different times of year, people want different types of songs, and then different radio stations are looking for different versions of different songs. And they go, whatever. Just we write the album. There it is. Do whatever the fuck you want. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Too Emotional is the new one now, which I'm going to be playing on the show for the first time this evening. I'm act- Do you know what else I'm going to play this evening? Which uh, maybe you look. Like, this is your chance to tell me not to. Do you remember the medley you used to do? Oh Ooh. man, yeah, I still love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a that's a while. It's probably a bit dated now with the songs. We'll make a new one. We'll make yeah. a new one during the year, maybe. But anytime I play it, I can actually I can I can do a good pa on, on the oh, whole yeah, way yeah, through. Yeah. On the yeah. whole way <laughs> Uh, I really enjoyed that. That was around the time of Catch Me If You Can, yeah, the yeah, first yeah. single, obviously. And it's been a bit of a roller coaster ride since then, lads. No, does it feel like a roller coaster ride? <laughs> um, um, yeah, at times. It's, so it's, it's a bit mad, ups and yeah. downs, twists and turns. Like life itself, yeah, yeah, eh? Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's <laughs> no, but you know, you're kind of, you've enough under your uh, wings now or under what, under something or other that would be an appropriate way to phrase. Like, there's been enough time gone by to yeah. get a bit of reflective on the whole walking on cars journey. Oh my God, you guys don't remember when I introduced you on air as like, was it driving in cars? Uh, or no, speeding cars. No, it was, oh, no. It was, it was chasing walk. cars. That's what everybody always says. Uh, and now I think I said driving in cars, yeah, and you were like, yeah, no, I was like, ah! We were like, who is this fucking joke? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, it's one of many boo-boos I've yeah, made yeah, over the years, lads. Yeah, just, just, you know, you're not special in yeah, that regard. Yeah, Sorry yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I still don't know the words to half the songs. I generally get the name of the band right as a fairly standard yeah, interview yeah. thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. That was early days. 
who was early days? Who was early? No, but it, it was early <laughs> days. No and way goes back then. Uh, well, it, you've come yeah. a long way. But uh, look, talk to me ahead of uh, Independent Park tonight because it is fifteen thousand people in a big open air stadium. I mean, as we were mentioning in Kilmainham, that was about eight or nine thousand, which is a big kind of open air gig too. Yeah. Where does this fit in terms of what you've done as headliners? Let's yeah, not forget it's the biggest here. Biggest show we've ever done in Cork. Um, we did the three arena in Dublin. Um, this feels like more of a home crowd. Um, and it's the first time we're going to play the new album in this part of the world, so it's going to be so a lot coming up from yeah. from down over the way yeah. there. Yeah, and Cork also has also, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, lads, a little kind of edge on a Dublin crowd, energy wise <laughs> and singing along wise, or should I say, singing along wise. <laughs> <laughs> I think it does. It has a. I, I'm, it might be controversial, yeah, yeah. but I absolutely think, happy I with that. Not contradicting yeah, yeah. that whatsoever. Thousand people in Cork sounds like seven thousand people in Dublin. Oh, yeah. So fifteen thousand. By that calculation, you're going to be playing to twenty-two thousand yeah. tonight, or something <laughs> like that. Yeah, we're playing to twenty thousand dubs <laughs> or. 15,000 Cork people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, presumably yeah. with a lot of Kerry in there as well and yeah. a good old crew coming up from Dingleford, presumably. Big time, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah the rattling totally bag in the bar. Yeah. Uh, that difficult second album, did it prove to be a difficult second album and how do you feel about it now that you're out gigging it and playing it out live? It did, yeah, it was a difficult album. Um, hence, it took so fucking long. Um, but we got there and like I, f I fucking love this album. Yeah, um, yeah. It took us maybe two years of kind of writing from the start of writing it to actually finishing it and being happy with it. It took us um, two years of kind of messing around writing it and then six months of really writing it. We <coughs> kind of wrote 40 songs or something and then we listened to them all and we're like, jeez, this doesn't sound like the second album at all, you know, that we have in our heads. So then we just wrote, we scrapped all those and we started again. Then we wrote the album you have today. There's more sense. There's more kind of grooves to it. Even though, of course, Monster was a slightly sort of dark yeah, sort yeah, of start yeah. to it all. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But there's been variety. Like there's been a sort of a distinct sound, but also variety to the to the yeah, singles yeah. that have come out so far. That's totally though. That's why it's called Colors. It's kaleidoscopic. It has a lot of different shades, a lot of different emotions, a lot of different themes. It's a it's a, a, a wide album in in its variety. I think. Nice. Thank you, Paul. You're in festival season, hence why we're here at a big open air gig, and the summer continues in that sort of vein, uh, which obviously is an enjoyable thing. Yeah. Is there a you know? But in terms of the whole process of it all, is there a point you're looking forward to getting to to that kind of like right, lads, back we go, shutters down? I think we're kind of just about hitting it. We're so we have like as you said, it's kind of festival season. So sorry, this hair on the microphones really been bothering me. But there's a. Uh, <laughs> Um, where was I? Festival Look at the season. state of the, yeah, the, know, of the yeah, mic. Yeah, where where is, who's it out of this is like sport. <laughs> this is sport. Yeah. They don't. They, they're, they're less fussy. But, uh, Thanks for hags for the for the gear. So it's basically it's, we're working at the weekends now because all the festivals generally happen at the weekends. It's festival season, so we have the weekdays at home to oh. write. So we've begun writing again. Well, yeah, that's exactly where I was going to go in terms of the trajectory and and let's hope album three then is an easier process and because yeah, so you can hear little bits in this album as well of 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 a development yeah, and yeah, presumably yeah. you're kind of eager to bring that further forward again yes exactly totally yeah, yeah. I don't think it's going to take as long as the next record yeah. um, I feel like in today's industry it's it's very much like get the next song out get the next song out rather than take two years away and come back with an album um, yeah so and albums aren't almost yeah, yeah, as, it's as important not anymore no I still love to make an album because you kind of have this yeah. thing that you can have forever but well, I think the way albums are working now is they're more like just <coughs> collections of songs that people have released up until a certain point. Then they just package it together, throw it out as an album. Because like it's really it's like a song every month or a couple of months on Spotify mm. to keep all the like playlistings going and yeah. stuff. It's yeah. totally it's since like the first time we released an album, it was Facebook. Our second album, Spotify. What's going to be album three? What's going to be the platform? We don't know yet. Will, be uh, will you be nervous heading out on stage tonight uh, before the first number? And can you reveal what your first song will be? I won't ask you the last song of the set. Uh, you'll always be a bit nervous around that many people from Cork, I think. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, and Munster yeah, final yeah. day, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hey, did you think I was going to mention it? Yeah, how's that going? Eh? It's on well, we'll see. Yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah. Might we'll see. Last go. last Any one in the park didn't go so well. Any yes. Comps yes. Got a box? Uh, I'll happily search out with a pair of tickets if you want them. I mean, 
I'll go to that game tomorrow, so fair enough. Is it Kerry oh, Cork? Yeah. yeah, it is, of course. Once we're fine, who else is going to be <laughs> <in it? laughs> yeah, yeah. Sorry, Claire, Waterford. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's start game on now. I might see you there, so that's yeah. a game. Nice one. So I reckon that might be worth a mention somewhere over the course of the night tonight. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so no, I mentioned we played after uh, after uh, a Munster final before, and Kerry Kerry won it. Classic. But uh, I said something about it. We were playing in uh, what's the venue? It was like upstairs in the old oak. Um, oh, Cypress Avenue. Cypress Avenue. We were playing Cypress Avenue, and. I said something. There was like a uh, technical difficulty, so I had to fill the void with some chat. And I was like, "Oh, good game today!" And the whole fucking crowd booed me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Jesus, not mention anything." Too. <laughs> and I actually think I said something about Cork winning the hurling. I said nothing about the football, and just they were like, "Well, <laughs> no, we're not having it. <laughs> You've crossed Boom. the line." I was like, "All right, all right, <laughs> scratch that." Yeah, yeah. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow. Yeah. On the Rebels, that's what I yeah. say anyway. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Up, Kerry! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Paul Evan Power walking on cars of a great gig tonight. Sarka, we miss you wherever you are. She's there. Sarka, Sarka yeah, say yeah, hi. Yeah. She's, she's out there. She's yeah, getting yeah, ready. Yeah. We hi. miss you. Yeah. Red FM misses you. Here. She's yeah. here. She's there, everybody. Lads, thanks so much. Have a great gig tonight. Thank Pleasure you. as always. Nice.